so weird. Epilogue. Completed Act 4. Oh! Hello, Clarissa. Oh, why am I Clarissa? Minister, I trust you're well. I'm fine, Bloodsworth. But busier than usual. Is the next delivery still on track? Indeed. I haven't heard from you in a week. Anything on your mind? Have I ever given you a reason to doubt me before, Minister? Not once. I must inform you that most peculiar incident has occurred. Someone broke into my office. Any clues who could have tipped them off? Did they steal anything important? Just some papers. Some pertaining to our partnership. Do you have any information concerning who could have done such a thing? No. But if I hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Alright. I believe you. For now. Thank you. Hope you find the culprit soon. Of course. If you hear something in the grapevine, let me know, please. This can pact us both. I understand. Stay safe. Hmm. Goodbye, Clarissa. Have a wonderful evening, Minister. I won't be intimidated, you know. I'm not trying to intimidate you. So being summoned at gunpoint, is your idea friendly? Desperate times call for desperate innovations. You're not used to people turning you down, are you? Soon thank you. You can go. How did you find me? Some junkie let slip your name one of my dealers. You need to tell me what you know about Howard now. He's infected with a DNA splicing organism. What organism? What do you mean? It rapidly rewrites and mu mutates DNA. What? Where did it come from? I don't know. The science minister found it. All that matters is that the apes no longer have it. Clarissa, please, tell me what happened to Howard. Did you hurt him? I let him go. He's alive? Where? He's lost beyond the wall? I think he is. We could look for him, you and I. You're not that fucking smart if you think I'll do anything with you. Is this why you brought me here? Mr. Loader is gone. You need a new partner. <laughs> a mind like yours can surely hazard a guess. You want to find out what I know and tidy up your loose ends? Wrong. I want us to work together. I knew you were crazy, but you think... I want to work with a mob boss that conspired with ruling the elite to eat the innocent? You don't know the whole story. I'd love to hear it, but I wonder how reliable the narrator will be. These were not great people. Rapists, abusers, wife beaters. Even scum doesn't deserve to be eaten. Maybe, but it helped me get control of the apes. You are a murderer. I might be, but it's over now. Do you want me to pat you on the shoulder? And AI I am your destiny, what? I read your book. You've proved you're not afraid of the apes. 
Oh, I'm afraid of them. Now more than ever. I want to bring down the apes and their wall. Excuse me? I need someone who can be the face of it all. Are you out of your fucking mind? You and I might be the only sane people in, left in the city. Do you mean to literally bring down the wall? When you see what's possible beyond it, you'll know. It's a waste of resources and a symbol of fear. The wall is there for a reason. There is nothing but death beyond it. I've been out there. It's safe and more. What? What are you saying? Scavengers are looking for remnants of lost civilizations out there, secretly. And you know this how? The technology that infected Loader. It was found there. Oh, and I had a tunnel built. Comes out far away from the wall. I can take you there if you'd like. I don't understand. You were working with the apes. How exactly do you think things will improve when they're not in power? your book. You know the answer. They won't be around. That's enough. I can't really argue with that. The revolution will happen slowly, inevitably, like a tide. The revolution will happen suddenly, like waking up a screaming, waking up screaming from a nightmare. See, it sounds, it seems like Miss Bloodsworth was trying to do it the slow way. Like, slowly getting into power and stuff, but after this artifact thing, there's been a shift. That'll just give the military and the police an excuse they need to hit back even harder. People will die violently. They're loyal to power. We'll show them he really has it. The cause cracked in their ranks already. They can be widened. It's a lofty ambition for a murderous drug pimp. You already have power. Why risk it on something like this? It's not real power. I want the real thing. Freedom. I'll just be helping install you as a dictator. That's the last thing I want. And what's in it for me? I risk everything by trusting you. And do you expect me to forgive you? You have to decide that for yourself. How convenient. Have you considered you may be delusional? Things are getting worse quicker than you know. Well, Bloodworth, that has been del uh, this has been delightful. Can I go now, or was there something else? Of course, think it over. You have two days. And if I miss the deadline? Then I will leave you alone. I trust you make the right choice. Bloodworth, I still think you're a conniving piece of shit, but I'm not staying, no. Sure, I'll tell you my thoughts one way or another. That's all I ask. Good luck, Renee.
Renee, at last, it's been easier to get a table for two at Dorcia than to get a hold of you. The invitation is still open, by the way. The oysters are to die for. Something came up. Personal. What's so important you couldn't even speak to me? How's the latest draft of the chapter in my department coming along, by the way? Let's just say things are becoming clear to me. My girl, I'm glad to hear it. I knew if I kept a light uh, touch, you'll find your muse again. When can I read the new edits? When you write them yourself. I'm not sure I understand when you're making a joke or suffering from one of your episodes. I must say I'm in no mood for games today. I've had a better offer. I quit. You can't be serious. The others know not to poach one another's projects. You can tell me who it was, you know. I'll protect you. Or we can discuss the pay. Money's not the issue here. I need freedom. Renee, you're nothing without me. You had one failed book, and now you have the chance for greatness. You never have someone like me on your side again. With you, I'd just be a puppet, chasing after scraps of recognition. And you still are! I hope you enjoy your childish new fancy while it lasts. And while you last... Great, this is good material for my next book. Next book, don't delude yourself. You're a pampered failed writer with no idea who the how the world really looks or really works. We'll soon see. Beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. No time to relax. Howard's letter to me. He didn't say where he was. Perhaps he didn't know? Maybe I could still find him. You didn't deserve this, my friend. At least you knew I was looking for him. Why didn't you come back to me yet? What would you think about Lovers' offer? I really wish I could ask you. Was it all my fault? I convinced him to go to Science City. Made him feel it was our last chance. It's my fault. So I have to make him proud. Hmm. Not my fault. He had the same information as me. I mean, he probably would have went. Just without her. Either way, I'll finish what we started. Clarissa said people could live over the wall. Who knows? Maybe there are others there, and Howard will find them. Make tea! A cup of tea will make me feel better before the call. Uh, green tea, I guess. We shared only a cup of todays together, yet everything reminds me of him. I miss him. We had a real connection. It's rare. He's gone now, maybe forever. But he gave me hope that things could be different, that there's future. I will hold on to it. Call Howard's mom. Beep, beep. It's my duty. Wing it, like he always did. Beep, beep. Come on. 
Hello? Who's this? Helen Loader? My name is Renee Wilson. This is concerning your son. We are here. We are all who persevered. What's the use of... Vilixation? The end is built into the beginning. We come into existence, and then we come out of it. We used to be a man. A million glimmering identities, all fighting for control over one another. What became of this man? What happened to us all? We survived, we kept on. Separate ourselves into atoms and pull by the threads of origin. Follow their path from the moment of conception and up until the knowness, the nowness. Nowness? Is that even a word? What do we see? The definition is not inescapable. What happened once will happen again. Flesh that speaks again, we are all one. Hmm. Recognition of past forms and lives not yet lived. Things that happened, things that are bound to happen. A humming harmony of being and perpetual becoming. We are afraid. When the landscape of the past and the future is in its dizzying complexity is laid out in front of us, what would our choice be? There is no choice. The choice is made. We become. And we preserve. We change. We can't escape the pain. Let the pain become us. Re revel in its beauty. We change, but we change nothing. Somewhere. Wah! My eyes! Oh, it's still on my back. Man. I am limping. hear water. It's an air turbine thing, a wind turbine. Oh, old abandoned city. Is this like Planet of the Apes type shit? He's walking slower. Oh. Poor Howard. It's getting too big. Piece of shit. Oh, gross. Oh, no. What? Over and over again. 
what happened? What did he become? What happened to the city? I want to know what Clarissa and Renee did. What the shit? Team Pets! Grandpa the Turtle! <laughs> what? Why did it just end with so many questions? So many unanswered things. It got way super existential at that last part. What the heck? The dialogue was so intense. Like, I didn't, like, nobody talks like that. That's messed up. I mean, the music's pretty cool. Reminds me of shit that you'd hear at, like, uh, one of those poet's nights. So that stupid freaking... Uh, biomass or whatever the heck. Where did it come from? Like, what was it? And what does it turn you into? I'd like to know what happened, like, before. Like, how did it get that way? Why and how and how'd they make the wall and... And then what happened afterwards, I'd like to know that too. hate things that just leave you with a whole bunch of questions and why was I making Clarissa's answers at the end there I guess it giving me something to do I don't know there was a couple of points where they they try to have the answers have something to do with gender and I'm like there's a lot more to it than this there's, there's more to it than just, oh, oh men are killing women, or uh, men are controlling women. There's, <laughs> there is way more going on <laughs> than freaking uh, gender, so I didn't choose those answers. Because it would have made technically no sense, because I, I didn't see, like, I didn't see any, uh, like, women or men uh, differentiating anything. Uh, to me, it seemed as if more your race was what defined who you were. Like, because I was a raccoon, everyone didn't expect me to be, like, super rich or, uh, well-off or clean. Everyone thought of me as dirty or in the wrong place. I'd like that, uh, that, uh, rabbit lady. Apparently rabbits... Uh, aren't seen as scientists. Yes, 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 please. <laughs> wow. You gonna give me something here? No! Are there multiple endings? Do I have to answer things certain ways to get things? Confirmed. No alternative endings. Nor are there any event branches along the way. It is what it is. Spoilers, even if you don't mention Renee to anyone, even to Larry, he will mention Renee, and then you ask him how he knows, 
and he will tell you that you were talking while sleeping. So yeah, pretty linear game. Wow. So, it's one of those, it really doesn't matter what I choose. It just changes the dialogue and makes it sound different for everybody, but it's pretty linear. In a way, I'm glad that it's linear, so I don't have to, like, revisit the same game and play it over and over again just to get little changes here and there. Um, I like linear games in that way. Uh, multiple endings kind of lose my interest in the games because after you've played it all the way through, you have to go through a bunch of the same stuff just to get the changes, and that will uh, lose my attention pretty quick. And in another way, I am not happy with the way it ended because it was so open-ended. There, there is no, there's no respite. There's no, there's no conclusion to any of the characters. You don't know what happens to Renee. You don't know what happens to Clarissa. You really don't know what happens to freaking uh, Howard, other than probably being consumed by the the weird legion on his back which is really weird but what does it turn into and uh, one of the answers were like uh no matter what you do things will like basically repeat itself and i'm like does it did it turn him into a human because when it flattened there was this like light colored flesh line that was above it did he did his dna rewrite and turn him into a human uh, is that how basically the world created that? Like, the apes took over and then they turned regular animals into anthropomorphs or anthropedic, anthropomorphic, pedic, anthropomorphic characters, and they they were once human because they said they were the uh, one of the experiments was a lizard and a dog. Um, maybe, maybe they added animal DNA to the humans and eventually they became this. And maybe that weird alien DNA thing was turning them back. I don't know. Don't know! That's why I'm mad, because you just don't know. <laughs> There's so many things that it could be and so many things that it couldn't be and you'll never freaking know. Um... On a on a music standpoint, the sounds are great. the The music was very L.A. noir, very mysterious, and I did really like uh, the the music with the lyrics and stuff um, that came at good places. Um, it was very calming, but also kind of. Um, I don't know, almost anxiety ridden, but like in a really slow pace, like your heart wasn't racing, but you were anxious. It's really weird. Um, or at least I was anyway. Um, like I don't know anything about Howard other than he used to have a partner and they're no longer a partner anymore. Uh, I don't know what happened to his ear. Um, either that or they said something about his ear and it, I can't remember. Um, and what happened to Anatoly? Why was he around all those people and it never attacked anybody? But when he came up to his friend, it attacked him and killed him. Like, what was that? And it never happened again. Like, it doesn't explain anything like that. And the fact that that Larry guy was so freaking, like, adamant on getting you to stop talking about what's going on, it, it, it was really confusing. I'm like, why? Why is he trying to keep me from talking and thinking? Like, <laughs> obviously, I'm still going to be consumed by this weird mass. And what if I stayed where Larry was. <laughs> like, I could have hold a grudge on him anyway, but... 
There was no reason. Like, people find their vices, and unfortunately, you can't help people who don't want to be helped. And it didn't look like Larry wanted to stop with his drug stuff. The fact that... I don't know what happened to him. He could have used it as an excuse to get into town to, to, to get drugs. Or he could have poked his nose into something that uh, he shouldn't have, all for the sake of helping me out, and got his ass killed. No one will know because you don't run back it you don't uh, run into Larry again. <laughs> so why would I just assume that he was he went out and did drugs and didn't come back because he's like passed out in the alleyway or something? I don't know that. He could have been killed because he was trying to help me. Um this all these open ended uh answers with so many different freaking supposed turnouts that you'll never actually know. And I don't know why why Howard's relationship with his parents are so rocky. Obviously, uh, it didn't look like their dad was in their life for some well, for one reason or another. Um, even though his mother seemed really friendly and wanted to be in her son's life. Um, but also didn't really push to be in it either. And it looked like that, that detective guy might have been dating his mother, but it wasn't like 100% like, <laughs> uh, confirmed or anything. Um, I don't know. <laughs> in, in ways I like the game, um, it could have been longer, um, Obviously, I expected something a little bit more. At least show me some, like, snippets of uh, freaking Renee and Clarissa's plan work out. Or at least Renee's. Um, get everybody to, to realize that they're being stuck in that city. Um, I know a lot of people, they're very complacent and they, they don't they're not going to change who they are because then they would have to run away from everything that they know. So, uh, they would rather stay in that city than, uh, be out there into the unknown, which I see would be very understandable. Cause like, why would you leave a city that has all of those, um, resources to be in a barren city or in a barren world doesn't have it so I mean if anything they could have uh, expanded uh, perhaps built further um, expanded further and made it stretch out so that it was larger and there was more to it and they just kept making it bigger and basically rebuilding um, society or something like that um, but, or maybe there's more than just one wall of apes or whatever, or any other creature. Maybe there's more, like, controlled uh, environments in other places of the world. But we'll never freaking know! Gosh. <laughs> Poor freaking Howard. <laughs> I want to know what happened to him. <laughs> but well I mean in a way I'm glad I didn't really pay for this game um I got free months of game pass that I didn't even use um <laughs> so I figured uh I guess I'll try and then I got this game before I even got a chance to play it um uh, I ran out of the, 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 the three months that it gave me, and then I got another offer to have it for, like, 99 cents. So I'm like, yeah, I guess. So technically, I, played ab I paid about a dollar for this game. <laughs> um, it's definitely worth at least, like, 10, um, but I think it's a little too short, and um, I don't like the, the vast unanswered questions and possibilities 
Um, <laughs> but, I mean, a lot of science fiction uh, novels and uh, movies and stuff kind of do, does that too. But, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, very, very, um, unexpected. The, uh, the narration and the, uh, the existentialism, um, is very unexpected. <laughs> I mean, I, I got the, the self-deprecating, um, nihilistic, uh, ways of thinking that came from Howard. Um, and it's sad to think about that. I don't like thinking about that because it makes my head hurt and it makes me cry. Um, but sometimes I get that way. And then that, those are the days that I just, I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to like basically be in my room or be in my bed all day long. And I hate those days. It makes me hate myself the most. <laughs> um, and I think Howard had a lot of uh, nihilistic uh, symptoms and stuff. The way he was talking and the, the way he thought about himself. Even though, even though I try to choose some of the more positive answers, just because I don't like seeing people go through uh, shit, if I don't have to, <laughs> um, and, but he, even, even the more positive answers, he was still pretty, like, eh, whatever, it is what it is, and it's very sad, because, unfortunately, I, I actually think about that, but I don't want anybody else to think like that, it's really weird for me, like, I, I completely... Um, I completely relate to that type of thinking, but I don't want anybody else to relate to it, you know? I want everybody else to not feel like that. <laughs> but yeah. That was Backbone. <laughs> that was definitely a strange one. Um, I would have preferred to have a little bit longer or a little bit more explanation on where things were going and where it would have went. <laughs> I want a happy ending, but it never, you never, you don't always get happy endings. It sucks. <laughs> but. I was like, oh God, sound. All right.